Welcome, Anthony Hudson with you. It's time for Saturday afternoon football. Today, we are coming to you from the Adelaide Oval. Well, half the seats are filled here today. I suspect that's as good as it's going to get. Accompanying me is Gary Lyon. What a game we've got today, Hutto. There really has been a big build-up for this clash. Well, today, it's Port Adelaide versus GWS Giants. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. It's a big midfield battle today. Whichever team can get on top in the middle of the ground will walk out winners today. confidence they're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it the banners are ready for the players the captains converge for the toss of the coin Port Adelaide winning the toss. What an exciting season we've had so far. Could there be one more twist in the tail as we enter the final round of the season? One week left to go in the season and one last chance for some sides to prove what they're made of. Come into this game with really good form. These lineups look very strong and both teams look fired up and set to go. The fans of both sides are waiting this one. And here we go. It's the power taking on the Giants. The Ebert shuts him down. Showing some really good pressure there. Kelly moves it now. Taranto steers it towards goals. It's a behind. Looking to bring it back into play. Hartler plays on. Decides to kick. Is accepted. Perryman picks up the loose ball. Ball gets cut off. Awkwardly got the handball out. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Wines kicks it. Jonas didn't mark it. Jacob gets a quick kick away. Dixon gets the ball. Gains some territory. DeBoer tries his luck at goal. GWS Giants finds a way to get that run through. He puts through his first goal. Gets some reward for his efforts. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. About to resume hostilities. Tap down. He wins possession. Burn Jones couldn't keep his hands on it. It's a turnover. He flicks it over. Hit the man hard. And we'll get a ball up. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Won the hit out. Dug out the loose ball. Kelly quickly onto the boot. Disguises that nicely and rushes it through. Bay towards the difference. Hartlett looking to bring it back into play. Drives it out of defensive 50. Reed picks it up. Going for goal number one. Always the top of the hole. The Giants starting to exert some dominance now. 
They lead nine to nothing. Hartler plays on. Elects to kick. Takes a nice mark. Looks up with a kick. It's a foot race to get this one. Houston takes it well. Good body work to win the mark. Got the hands free. Just releases the ball. Quick hands, and they could be away here. Ball hits the deck. The ball's not loose. Decides to soccer it. Hopper wants to keep it moving by hand. Under pressure and keeps it alive. Unfortunately, not for long as the ball goes out. Goes by foot. Toss back into play. Rosie just slaps it down. He's got the footy in his hands. Well picked up. Kept alive under pressure. Couldn't complete the play. Ball out of bounds. The ball is coming back into play. Cameron handballs to no one in particular. The loose ball picked up. Hopper rushes with the kick. Gathers it now. Slams it onto the boot. And the mark will be paid. He's a long way from home, but he might have the wheels. You'd expect this one to sail through the middle. He likes his chances from here. That one. Port Adelaide, close the gap to eight. Ready to bring it back into play. Davis decides to go to himself. He drives it. Himmelberg grabs that one. Himmelberg, one out in the square. Rosie had it, lost it. Ends up with Sutcliffe. It'll be a ball up. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of footy. Now we've got a ball up. Thump clear. Wines gets on the end of this. One it down. Cameron on the ball. Releases by hand. Reed links up with a chance to run. He takes the shot. GWS Giants are happy about that one. That will settle his nerves. Gets his first on the ball. He's excited about that one. Back in the middle. Has the rucks go at it. GWS Giants are making the most of their ruck dominance. It's one area of their game that seems on top here. Wins the race to the ball. Wine slips the tackle. Houston takes the mark. Sweeping handball. Hartlett hacking it out of there. Gets a handball away. Receives the handball and takes off. Kelly on the move now. Going for goal number one. That kick was pure. He's enjoying every second of it out there. This league getting bigger now. Congratulated by his teammates. GWS Giants by 20 points. We're back in motion. GWS Giants score in front in the clearances and it's allowing them to create pressure up the field and scoring opportunities. Slick with the hands. The loose ball scooped up. Wines with a short hand pass. Gets the loose ball. Gets a quick kick away. Davis got him high there. Westhoff drives a low kick. Doing well to intercept that kick. GWS Giants are allowing the opposition uncontested marks, but they sit up behind the ball so well it forces the opposition to play that style. That ball comes off the post. Players move as they look to provide an option. Kicks it out of the defensive 50. The mark has been taken. Uses it now. Nice work from Houston. Stabs at the kick. Westhoff controlling the airwaves on this occasion. The distance might be just beyond him. 45 degree angle for this shot at goal. Goes for the goals. Goes off the ground. There'll be a ball up, close to goal. What can you tell us, Gaz? It's a really entertaining game of football. Williams gains some territory. Racking up possessions now. 
Cameron gives the donut, tries to gain some territory. As we go into the break, the scores of GWS Giants 21, Port Adelaide 2. GWS Giants are up and about early, and I bet the coach would be happy with this lead at quarter time. He has to hold on to those. Any thoughts from you, Gaz? GWS Giants haven't been winning the ball as often around the contest, but it's what they're doing after the initial contest that sees them in the lead. Thank you very much, Gaz. The second term ready to get underway. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Picked off by Dixon, finds his man. Jacobs dug out the loose ball. Scoops up the ball. Cameron thrashes it. Use the hands and gives away the free. Moved on by Ebert. Rockcliffe just gets a boot to it. Rockcliffe will be the recipient of the free. Puts it on the boot. A race for the loose ball. Gets some distance on the kick. Lloyd gets on the end of this. The Giants are allowing the opposition uncontested marks, but they sit up behind the ball so well, it forces the opposition to play that style. A chance to put a second goal on the ball. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. Kalich celebrates with the fans. GWS Giants by 25. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. This is how they can score Big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. GWS Giants have been giving the opposition a chance to move the ball around freely, which is working because they're getting on top once they force a contest. GWS Giants are allowing the opposition uncontested marks, but they sit up behind the ball so well it forces the opposition to play that style. Green controls this one. Makes it somebody else's problem. Didn't get away from the tackle. Brilliant chase. Ward delivers with a straight drop pass. That's his first. Pretty happy with that one. GWS Giants fleet Port Adelaide. 33 to 2. Centre bounce. The Giants need to be far more competitive with their clearance work. They can't win games that way. Couldn't complete the mark. Releases the handball. Ward, hurried kick. Looks like the ball will be coming back. He spears the ball. Takes the mark. Uses it across half bat. He wins the ball in the air. Slams it on the boot. Terrific mark there. Uses it across half bat. Burgoyne marks it. GWS Giants haven't been in control. They've given up way too many uncontested marks and are letting the opposition set the pace. He takes the mark. 50 metres out. Langdon with an opportunity for goal. 45 degree angle. Marked by Kelly. 40 metres out. The kick will be from a 45 degree angle. He might kick a goal. A time to celebrate. That's number three. This kick stretches the lead. He loved that one. GWS Giants lead by 37. Back in the middle. Won it down. Clean from the half volley. Getting pushed out of the way was Houston. The ball ends up going to ground. And the chance at goal is taken by GWS Giants. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. That's seven in a row for GWS Giants. The margin is 43. Cameron does well. Cornelio with a shorthand pass. War struggling to run at the moment. Gets around Mr. Invisible. Got the hands free. Handballs. Core finds possession. Whitfield just gets it onto the boot. Takes that one strongly. Puts boot to ball. The ball goes over the boundary, near the 50. Rockcliffe making his way onto the field. 
This game is out of hand and could go downhill even further. Dropped a mark he should have taken. What a tackle! Great tackle. Oh, just hits the post. The lead is now 44. Considering the options on the kick-in, decides to play on. Moves the ball by foot. Goal-scoring opportunity for Taranto. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this far. Bit of an angle for this kick. He goes it alone. The drop pipe goes straight between the big sticks. That pushes the lead further out. He's enjoying that goal. That's eight in a row for GWS Giants. Now they lead by 50. Jacob gets it down. Green drops the mark. Burton scoops it up quickly under the boot. Drops the ball. Collects the loose ball. Hurried kick. Rockland having an impact again. He's setting the example at the moment. The umpire pays the free kick. Both with the mark. If they kick this, they give themselves a chance. Margin in a really tricky situation. GWS Giants have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. It's why they're still in front. A quick handball from Perryman. Nobody can hold on here. Off the deck. Scoops up the ball. Keeps it moving. De ball onto the ball. Lloyd with an easy mark. Opportunity once again for GWS Giants to put one through. A long driving kick. Oh, he did everything right except take the mark. Rockley goes with the kick. Clean pick up by Houston. Takes off now. The contest, no match for him. Good call, Hutto. GWS Giants have the lead, but they're allowed plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Sees it out of play. And we'll get a throw in. I hate to say it, Hutto, but this game is over. Jacob won the tap. Running out of time in this quarter. Lobs the handball. Hopper getting in on the act. Sinks the slipper into it. The siren sounds, and that's the end of the term. The score, GWS Giants 52, Port Adelaide 3. A good first half from GWS Giants. They can be well pleased with how the game is shaping. What do the stats tell us, Gaz? Port Adelaide need to tighten up once the ball leaves the contest. The opposition are getting ready to begin proceedings in the second half. We're back in the middle to resume play. Guides it down. Opportunity for Jacobs. Reed is the body to take that mark. 45 metres out. He slams it towards goal. Chalk a goal up for the Giants. Reed getting the crowd involved. That's nine in a row for GWS Giants. The margin is 55. It's great to watch Hutto. Plenty of excitement. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. Port Adelaide haven't been in control. They've given up way too many uncontested marks and are letting the opposition set the pace. He can take off after that handball. Kicks in heavy traffic. Nice hands. With a driving kick. Rockland looks to convert this opportunity. That's a monster kick, and it's a goal. His teammates rush over. Margin in a really tricky situation. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. That's a really good team goal. The game is back underway. Thump by Jacobs has it now. Clears the ball from the contest. Hey. 
Well, this game is really getting out of hand. Taps it down. He's the number one ranked player on the ground. He's on fire at the moment. It's been a clearance game, and right now, GWS Giants are on top in that area. Rosie Campbell's out in front. He has the ball. This kick to keep some hope alive. It's a big kick, and it goes straight through. He puts through his first goal. Port Adelaide badly needed that one. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. Port Adelaide can't seem to find the footy. It's pretty simple. If they don't have the ball, they can't score. Wants to keep it moving. At full stride, receives the handball. Marks all alone. A spearing kick from Burgoyne. Good mark there. Works it across the ground. Releases by hand. Whitfield puts on a big hit. Westhoff manufactures a handball. Massive kick here. They need to convert this opportunity. Pau Pepper celebrates with the fans. Port Adelaide close the gap to 37. Dixon thumped to clear. Loses control of the ball. He looks like he needs a spell. Just gets it onto the boot. It's marked by Reed. 35 metres out. Should be simple from here. An opportunity for a third goal. That kick hits the post. The lead is now 38. Searching for a teammate. Hartley plays it to himself. Goes with the kick. And the mark will be paid. Uses it across half back. Taking a nice grab. Burn Jones bangs it on the boot now. Jonas with the intercept. Jonas throws the ball away. Himmelberg has resources out wide. Using every ounce of energy he has left. He's in his possession. Good mark. And looks to send it back. GWS Giants are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. With the ball now. This is four. Linking by hand. Fights the good fight. Manages to get a hand away. He has the ball. Has it now. Kelly just put it on the boot. Reese fills it. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. He likes his chances from here. Burn Jones might have overworked himself there. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game's going right now. He lays off the pass. Bounces over the line. Ball back into play. Tap came from Jacobs. Kelly just threw it. Got boot to ball. Jonas found some space and marked. Burgoyne wins the ball in the air. Looks to move it by foot. A race for the loose ball. Houston winning plenty of possessions. Go for goal number one. Yeah, they have to trap this ball inside their own 50 and cause a turnover. GWS Giants with the edge right now over Port Adelaide. Sheridan leading the race to the loose ball. The loose ball scooped up. Now we'll get a ball up. GWS Giants are taking advantage of their Ruckman's ability. It gives them first use at the stoppages and forcing the opposition to defend. Dixon running off for a break. Jonas drives the kick. Good grab there from Pal Pepper. Chose to kick it. Marks in a bit of space. Kicks it out of the back 50. Burgoyne won himself a free. Moves it by foot. Cleary hangs on to that one. 
GWS Giants haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning title that way. Chose to kick it. Marks all alone. Houston elects to kick. Takes a strong mark. Moved on by Perryman. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Tips it towards half forward. Finds a target. Taranto looks to build some momentum with this kick. Plays on. The ball finds a ball. 45 metres out. Going for goal number two. The drop part sails between the big sticks. Smiles all round. GWS Giants with a handy break. But what do you think of the third term, Gaz? The Giants believe they can win this game. It's time to show it. What stands out for you, Gaz? Port Adelaide giving themselves a chance on the turnover, but they can't seem to... Last quarter action, ready to go. Oh, they've got to take some risks now. They can't afford to waste any time. GWS Giants are getting first use from their ruckman. Hartler couldn't hang on to the ball. Gathered by Jonas. Has a runner alongside him. Now it's a ball up. There's not too much going on out there at the moment. Dixon slaps it away. Collected the ball well. Great control there. Boat needs to execute this shot at goal. He celebrates hard after that. Port Adelaide behind by 39. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. He did really well there and gets the reward. GWS Giants have been giving the opposition a chance to move the ball around freely, which is working because they're getting on top once they force a contest. Cameron unloads one towards goal. Touch through. <laughs> GWS Giants doing well at the moment. Hartlett deciding where to go with the kicky. Needs a bit of a rest. Decides to kick. He takes the mark. Burton moves it now. Doing well with the mark. Goes with the kick. Ward, a better man there. Handball's out into space. The handball hits the target. Cameron looks to get onto the football. Just got the hands in the back there. Power Pepper pushes a low ball. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. GWS Giants forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Whitfield throws the ball away. He spears the ball. Watts marks. Decides to play on. Couldn't snaffle it. Westhoff couldn't complete the tackle. He heads for home. Just a line for a minor score. The margin's big, but there should be enough time left to play. Sackler gets a quick kick away. We'll have another ball up. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. Davis searching for a teammate. Plays on from the kick in. Davis kicks hard along the boundary line. Whitfield kicks hard along the boundary line. Ends up marking uncontested. 
GWS Giants have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. Dixon thumps it clear. Williams uses the bump. Davis picks up the loose ball. Wins the ruck duel. Finding the ball was Davis. Sutcliffe slowing down now. Might be in need of a rest. Turned it over. Even over the top. Wants to play on with a driving kick. Haynes got hands to it. I haven't seen him for a while, guys. That's right, Hunter. He just can't seem to get into the game. He acknowledges the crowd. Port Adelaide have kicked back-to-back -back goals. They need to continue to pick this margin back. Dixon won it down. Clears the congestion. Can't take possession. Slams it onto the boot. Power Pepper kicks hurriedly. Finds the loose ball. Just manufactures what he could. Was in his possession. Got the hands free. Couldn't quite with the mark. Applying the physical pressure. Wins the race to the ball. Great grab. Putting this one through would give GWS Giants plenty of confidence. GWS Giants are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. 40 metres from home. Cameron with a pretty easy kick. Hold on to the ball for a few moments and just take the sting out of the game. That's a well-executed kick for a goal. Of course, Hunter. They are starting to stamp their dominance on this game. They get around him after that effort. We resume hostilities. Dixon with a big fist on it. Penetrating handball. Green grabbed it clean. Gets the loose ball. Himmelberg drives it out of the pack. Got hands to it. Constant pressure and rewarding. Cameron, can he put it through? Picking it up was Rockley. Hacks it on the boot. Dixon quickly onto the boot. He couldn't hang on. Burgoyne needs to live. He's barely touched the ball lately. Dug out by Grosey. Just put it on the boot. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. The kick from Williams. Takes an uncontested mark. GWS Giants are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Marks now and can send it back. Burgoyne uses it by foot. Snaffle up by Sheridan. Rockley runs them down. Didn't get away from that tackle. Great tackling there, Hutto. He takes aim. A good result there, and that's a goal for Adelaide. That's two now. Finding his feet in front of goals. They kick the goal to stem the flow. Are we about to see a shift in this game? Dixon hurls it away. He's got the footy in his hands. Coughed up by Taranto. Collected by Rockcliffe. Strong mark in the contest. Slams it on the boot. Not the most exciting match, but the fans of the winning side will feel pretty good right about now. How did you see that one, Gaz? GWS Giants just know how to play together. It's been a solid team performance and they can reap the rewards. Final scores are 73 to 41. That's all for today on behalf of myself, Gary Lyon. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon.